So today's video, I wanna talk about Donors Choose. You've seen in my previous videos how I use Donors Choose to raise funds for my classroom and to get materials and manipulatives and supplies that I need for my classroom. And I'm hoping that today's video will help you set up your own Donors Choose and fund your first project. So after you create an account, you will um, edit your own page saying what grades you teach, give a little bit of information about your school and the project that you want to fund. I blurred it out because for privacy reasons, mind your business. But you can see down here from my particular project, you can see the different type of things that I put on my list, um, how much they cost, the ones that are crossed out were the ones that weren't available, so I did have to get replacements. But I get, I did order things such as a 30-pack of dry erase pockets. I got a um, variety kit with different types of command hooks that you've seen in my videos. I got some magnetic clips. I got some mounting tape. Um, if you want to see more about this unboxing for this particular project, it is in my setup vlogs, um, my first and my second one, so go check those out. It also shows how much it is. Now, an important thing to note is that this project is not only funded my, by my friends and family who I left notes for and blurred it out, but also is often matched by some type of foundation. So not only do you get money from your friends, you also get it matched, so that's great. My project was already shipped, so they do keep you updated on when it's shipped, what was back ordered, what um, needs to be reordered when something runs out. They allow you to go back on whatever website you ordered it from to order something else with the remaining money that you have. So I have everything that I ordered. It is fully funded. And I just wanna show you what happens after your account is, or after your project is fully funded. You can go back to your project and you see that I have to submit some a thank you package. And what that means is I have to send thank you notes to everyone who donated. And this is all, through the website so I don't have to physically write um, paper and pencil write a letter but back in the day you would have to take pictures of your students with consent forms that they provide you using those materials or if you don't have consent forms you know the back of their heads as I showed here but because of COVID you don't have to upload pictures so I just need to describe how my materials has made an impact on my classroom and any photos that I can share that'll warm my donors hearts I will upload those too and that's not due till mid-November sometime so I have plenty of time to do that now I want to show you how you make your own so when you create your own project you see that there is a list of places that you can choose from teachers pay teachers got made I'm shook I did not know that that was on there I wish I saw that earlier but it's okay Amazon business is where I because that's just regular prime you know regular Amazon that's where I usually get things so I'll select it this time once you select your store it's going to give you this message saying that technically your things belong to the school and not you but you know you use those materials up so the school won't have it next year anyway, <laughs> depending on what it is. So after you read all this and you, when you start, I know mine, for example, wants to automatically open the app. It will not work on the app. You have to open it up through your browser, okay? Open it up through your browser. Just click cancel if it wants to open the Amazon app. And once it's on the browser, you are allowed to shop as normal so you can type in something that you want for your classroom let's say I want notebooks right I need a class set of notebooks I'll type in notebook and select whichever items I see fit for my classroom add it to my cart regular schmegler if y'all are teachers you're on Amazon I already know you've done this before Maybe next I want some anchor chart paper. Think of the things that you do not want to come out of pocket yourself to get. 
those are the things to add to your list because they are expensive, right? So now I add some anchor chart paper to my list. And then on top of that, uh, maybe I wanna add a teddy bear. Maybe I have a cool down section. Maybe it's a book buddy. It doesn't necessarily have to be school supplies. Just be ready to show how that item impacted your classroom. And I also add that to my cart. Now, once you get to your cart, when you're all done, you see that it doesn't just say check out. It says submit these items for approval. If you were on the app, it would say check out and you'd be spending your own money. But through Safari, you submit, or whatever internet you're using, you submit them for approval. And then you can come back, um, you'll see that I drafted that project. I didn't submit for approval because I don't actually need a project right now. But it'll give you your what's pending, what's not. You can go back, um, delete it if you want to, go get different items. And I think it is a super great tool to use to get things for your classroom. Right now, if you use the referral link that I will leave in the description, you will automatically get something toward your project. Now, uh, while like earlier this week, they said $50. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, but you will at least get something from Donor's Shoes toward your project using my referral link down in the description. A great tool to use, especially if you are in a low income school, especially if you're in a low income district, your district doesn't provide you with jack. You utilize donors choose, you will not regret it. You'd be surprised how many friends and family want to help you, want to donate, want to help out your classroom because they appreciate you as a teacher, but don't always know how. So definitely give Donors Choose a try. Like I said, I will leave my information down below for you to get an automatic donation toward your project. But, 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 it is only good for this week, August 23rd, 2021 to August, 20, uh, August 30th, 2021. So make sure you sign up and create your project today you do not have to make the ending goal date for by this week but at least create your project today through my link so that you can automatically get a donation toward that project and between you and me mm, donor shoes always be matching okay they will always be matching oh your friend donated ten dollars guess what Donor Shoes is donating $10, whether it's through some foundation, whether it's just through a special they're having. So definitely check it out. Let me know the projects that you've created down below. Let's help support each other, okay? We, we, we broke out here. We get it. We're broke. Let's support each other in making a productive, warm, inviting classrooms for our students. And I will catch you in the next video. Bye.